I'm on foot Murray Cod fishing and this one's pretty special. I have my go-to Murray Cod lure, Explorer Gill, but that's not what's so special about this place. This is the cleanest water, possibly the biggest fish I've seen in skinny water ever. This is one of the most pristine, healthy, amazing waterways that I've seen for cod. Very skinny water, so much bait, and the cod are massive. Describe it, I am in the middle of nowhere again. This particular spot, this river, uh, been told about it a couple of times and didn't think much of it, you know, like, yep, sounded cool, but a long way away from me, so. Basically, on my way south to visit my dad at the moment, and this spot is semi on my way. So, here we are, sun was out, sun is now gone. You can see, But there is a big black storm coming my way and it is freezing cold. So I am on foot, I'm gonna hike. We have a big mission of hiking. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get wet, so I have all my rain suit on. Plus it's cold. But I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those grinder trips. I've never been here before. I know it's not a fishery that is loaded with rats. It is a fishery that is renowned for big fish. But been here before only going off what mates have told me and I'm here to explore so rather than talk too much I'll uh, try and beat this storm and get on with it but should be cool. I can't believe it but there's a Murray Cod sitting right there doing absolutely nothing. Wow. And there's another one. Yep. Another one moving across to it. Behind it. That's incredible. Get down this hill. My goodness, I just lost a metery, I'm not joking, not even that one that I could see. Oh, the huge fish. First cast from up here I don't even know where it came from
That's one. That's one. That's one. He's stalking me, stalking me. Hey, that is mental. I don't even know what to say or do or anything. I'm like dumbfounded. Well, I reckon they've all had a bite, so I'm gonna find something else. That's mental. I don't know how I'm gonna get across that though. It's very dangerous. Looks good. Can't see anything. But it looks good. Can't be everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. 
very much aware of me now. But keep on going. <laughs> Baby girl. <sighs> What a mission that was. Very healthy. With those billies. <laughs> okay. I can see one. Just gotta get there quietly. Somehow present a lure without too much noise. Put it on the sand, I think. I'll go to the go to the paddle tail.
Where did you, where do you hide a meter of cod in a hole like that? Huh, there he is. Bit of a status update. <laughs> Can't talk. I'm taking the high ground to um, avoid all the climbing up the hill, so I climbed up once. Instead of climbing up multiple times, I'm high. Well, I walked for about three hours and I saw like two more. So now it's getting late. I'm gonna head back and get back to somewhere where I can sleep tonight and go in the morning. See where I get to when I get back to the car. It's still light, I might go, but I had a long way to go. See that there? Meter cod. <laughs> Sitting there. That's amazing. In there, there's nothing, there's something near him. Maybe two, three. Alright, try and get a lure there. Wow. Oh, I spooked. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not. for something different. White one with a paddle tail. I'll keep it on the top if I can. And then I'll try the rat. He needs some bigger hooks. this first.
comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, oh wow. The only thing that showed any interest in is the boat sanity. Paddle tail or my new prototype tail. That's the only thing so far. So we will stick with it. Arctic. It's there. Before dark. Hard to get down here. <laughs> Oop. Someone or something has slid down here many a times. <laughs> That is for sure. Oi. Well, I don't know why this camera doesn't look dark. F stop 1.8, but it is uh, getting dark. So I'm going to boost it back to the car because it's actually cold now that I'm so sweaty under all this suit. And I've stopped moving for a bit trying to catch these fish. So I'm going to boost it back to the car have some dinner and I have my headlamp so I may sneak back up to this pool after dark I don't know pretty tempting very hard to uh, not anyway so we'll see I'll either be in the dark or I'll be in the morning chicken cheese wraps double cheese bit of mustard now you Elena here to make them for me essential ingredient keep your mayo <clears throat> to excuse the car running my headlamp was on in my backpack then the trick is you fold the ends then you fold it like that and then you have to squish it real hard. Then you have a fully sealed Delano style wrap. <laughs> wow. First cast. About my feet. It's a strong one. Oh my god, oh my god, he followed it all the way, smoked it at my feet. He's a big one too, I think that he's still, no, he didn't steal my tail. <laughs> Put some glove, put a glove on for him. to a meter it's probably a meter of wild small river cod first cast back here oh, can you believe it 
good thing as a weapon. <laughs> Put all sorts of dramas. Can you believe that? That's incredible. <laughs> Look at that. Ah, oh, that's so heavy. <laughs> I don't know what that line is. Hello. Meter of river cod. Wild river cod. <laughs> I'm so happy that took all day. So many, so much walking. <sighs> there she is. One last look. Probably a bit blown out. Before I let her go. <laughs> Wait. Was not happy about that. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Went back, had dinner. So tired, so cold. I wasn't gonna come out. This thing, it was getting chased every cast. I started with my uh, new color, which isn't released yet. And uh, the new Torment tail, which also isn't here yet. And uh, they were building that thing too, but then when I put this on, it's like every single cast, someone was under it and, some, and they popped it and everything. Insane. That was my first cast, I don't know why, but when I got back near the bank, I just sat it there in the shallows. And uh, I, I guess I just had a feeling like it's, it's from where I was standing, there's, um, I don't know, five foot of water that's a foot and a bit deep you know so he would have had to slide up in there and i just had a feeling he was going to pinch it as soon as, it, as soon as i sat it still and uh he did Big one is around that rock. Boy. Oh, wow, beast, absolute beast. Oh my goodness, buddy, what a weapon! And in a hail. Oh my god. It's not a meter. This one, but it's a weapon. That's, that's amazing. Look at that. Where is that gill? It's gone, buddy. <laughs> it's not a meter, but he's a beast. Wild River Cod. It's in the 90s. It's so fat. Absolutely inhaled it. Look at that. Absolute beast. <sighs> Probably a low 90s fish, but that's incredible. So happy. <laughs> Get him back. <sighs> Go the other way, mate. How crazy is that, to think this little, sleepy little creek sometimes run with, 
runs with that sort of intensity. That's insane. It's a lot of wood and a lot of water. <whistles> Terrible morning for a walk. <laughs> Amazing. <whistles> Beautiful countryside. Bit of a nice chill in the air. Not hot, not hot enough to have my beanie on though. I mean, not cold enough. I'm sweating. Well, that was, I don't know, that was very hard to describe. Incredible place. Saw some amazing things. Didn't catch like a lot of fish, but I'm only here for an afternoon and a morning, but the quality of those fish is incredible and the misses and just seeing them, you know, seeing that, seeing wild fish just free swimming like that, like trying to hide from them, trying to convince them that you're not there, but pretty special. But everybody loves a tackle talk and one of the main reasons we all love cod fishing is the tackle involved in cod fishing. So the main lure that got the bites was my Explorer Gill. So I had a few bites on my other colour Explorer Gill, which you may have noticed. Um, but Ghost with the Alpha Tail definitely a standout for uh, converting those fish this trip probably a lot to do with the um, like the timing of when I was using this like later in the day later in the night and then uh, first thing this morning the rod X pride 172 heavy amazing rod so sensitive just feels so good so easy to cast that monocoque butt the real Clado DC 200 super light this whole combo is super light I can single hand cast it everywhere so easy get the lure where I want and can also land like because I can underhand cast I was landing very very quietly and subtly you know because these fish are it's crystal clear water shallow water and I was trying my best to make my presence and the lure landing not obvious braid is 50 pound and leader 60 it's about it apart from hooks Hooks are the new Van Fook DT58s. They are out and available for everyone to get now. I've been running these hooks for like two years. I mentioned them in my bar videos. You've seen them in my bar and cod videos. I just love the fact that they are brown. They are super, super sticky, very strong. That's about it, guys. Thanks as always for tuning in. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoyed seeing these cod as much as I did. Very, very special opportunity and I will Continue on my road trip south to see my dad and uh, I'll see you on the next one.